Hi everybody, um, this is just a, a quick tutorial, uh, a visual guide for the installation of, uh, for basically getting Archipelago set up for a hat in time. Um, this involves uh, basically downloading an older version of the game. Um, yeah, um, and you don't need a command line here. Um, this will just make it a little bit easier for, for me to do some things to show you guys. Um, yeah, okay. So, uh, the first thing we need to do is open up the Steam console. Um, as you can see, there's no real way to actually get into that. Um, not in Steam, anyway. Um, so what you can do is um, you can press uh, the Windows key and R at the same time. Uh, that will open up uh, in Windows the Run menu. And um, into the box there, you're going to want to type Steam colon slash slash open slash console and then press enter. Okay, um, I ended up having to reload Steam, but um, you shouldn't need to do that. Um, if this doesn't show up for whatever reason, um, you may have to turn off uh, remote libraries, something like that. I've seen that have an issue with, um, I've seen, yeah, I've seen people be unable to access the console because of family sharing stuff. Um, now, note that while you're in here, the, the, the console, um, you do not, uh, you should not uh, change the page. So, um, in this case, I have gone and opened up um, a web browser with the Archipelago page. So, next, what you're going to do, let me move this across is uh, you're going to want to press do this command. Um, I can explain a little bit here, um, but not too much. This is a little bit out of my wheelhouse, but I can make some educated guesses. Download Depot, um, downloads the data for a game. The Hat and Time game ID is 253230. Um, I think this might be the branch and this is the version number and this corresponds to roughly the version that uh, Yakuza Metro came out. Um, so you can go ahead and press enter. Um, it will it should uh, should say something here. There we go. It's about 5.5 gigabytes to download. And you're going to want to stay on this page uh, until it says finished downloading depot. So uh, I've already downloaded this. Um, so. I'm going to go ahead and just leave that page. <laughs> now, um, you'll want to go into your Steam Apps folder. Once it's done, uh, for me, because I'm running a flat pack, it is in Steam, Steam. Steam apps and it will be in a folder under content and then app 253 230 again that's the app ID for hat and time and then there'll be a folder inside of that that says depot underscore 253 232 that is your hat and time game folder um, you'll want to rename that to something, um, 
we usually just call it hat and time underscore AP and move it to Steam Apps Common. Okay. So, once you've done that, we need to go into the our new hat and time AP folder and go into binaries, win64, and you'll want to make a file called steam underscore app ID dot txt. Um, now, Windows being Windows defaults to having um, most file extensions off. Um, so just be mindful that you're not calling it steam underscore app ID dot txt dot txt because um, that will not work. And in steam underscore app ID dot txt, we're just going to put six, six numbers in there, two, five, three, two, three, zero. Save, and that's it. Um, now, if you want to, you can make a shortcut for this. But what I've done is if we go back to Steam, we're done with this now. Um, I have made a shortcut in here. And you can see that it points to the Hat and Time AP folder. And you don't need to have these, but um, if you're going to be playing Archipelago a lot, it's probably a good idea. Um, and if you're in Linux like me, I'd probably say force to use the Steam Play compatibility tool and just pick whatever, I guess. Um, and then when you're done, well, well, that's it. You, you should be done. So if I go ahead and click play on this, you'll see that a hat in time should start running. So now we'll wait for it to load. Once your game is finished loading, uh, we can check that uh, we are actually running the correct version. Um, so, first of all, you should be able to see that uh, you don't have any existing saves. Uh, this one is from an archipelago that I've just done. Um, and you can also check in the settings that you don't have uh, live game events here. Um, if you don't have that, you are running the correct version. It is, you have gotten this to work. Um, now, the last thing we should do um, before basically calling this ready is um, you want to check in mods that uh, this is not disabled, like, uh, like this one here. Um, if it is, you just uh, go inside and click Enable. Or you can go to configure and yeah. So now that we've done that, uh, how do we generate it? How do we uh, connect to a hat in time? Like, how do we connect this game to Archipelago? Well, once you've uh, generated your hat in time seed. Um, you will need a client to play it. Now, if you have the Hat and Time AP world installed into your archipelago, um, uh, like I would have in Lib Worlds, you might be able to use a launcher to load up the Hat and Time client that way. Uh, you use the Hat and Time client to basically mediate between the server and uh, the game itself. 
Um, there is also a standalone Archipelago AHIT client here that you can use, uh, which works just fine. I'm going to go ahead and load it. Now, once you've loaded up the uh, client and connected to your world, then, then you can then you can create your new game in Hatton Time. Um, the game will connect to a local proxy in the client, and basically the the client will forward um, everything will forward everything to the Archipelago server, and so. Uh, once this is finished loading, um, you may need to wait a little bit for for stuff to download. Um, you know, the info, information for games, that sort of thing. Um, but then that is basically it. So let's see what this seed has given me, and and then we will uh, close this off. Okay, so as you can see, the game has connected to the Hat and Time AP client. Um, the client is connected to the world. And now, if we uh, go into the main area here, we can see um, that the timepiece counts have been randomized. Um, for my settings, I always have the finale set to 25 there. And we can see that uh, Battle of the Birds is our first world. And from there, um, yeah, uh, that is basically all you need to know to start playing a hat in time in Archipelago. So with that, um, I'm going to say this video is done. Um, I hope that explains uh, everything you need to know. Um, if you do have any extra comments um feel free to leave them in the comments below and i will uh do my best to answer any questions you guys might have um if you want to know more about the hat and time randomizer uh archipelago randomizer um you can find the uh discussion channel for it in the archipelago discord um, you can find that by going to archipelago.gg and clicking the Discord link there. Um, with that, um, I will leave you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope this helped a lot, and um, I will see you guys in a future video. Bye-bye.